Hey everybody, how you doing today? Welcome to my cooking show, okay? My cooking show. And today, we were gonna do something else, but you know, I changed my mind because of the weather's not permitting. I was gonna uh, cook in my new kitchen outside, and maybe next time, uh, maybe next week or the next week or the following week, we could do something uh, extraordinary outside because today I was hoping, but it's kind of rainy out there, so I don't want to wet, get wet because I don't want to melt, you know what I mean? And uh, I don't want to melt the camera, and uh, the camera was, is liable to uh, break, and I really don't want to do that. Expensive camera, I mean, I'm pretty expensive too, you know what I mean? But I just don't want to melt. But anyway, besides that, welcome, all right? And today, today, I don't know if you ever, I don't know if you ever been to the jungles anywhere in this planet, you know what I mean? But I have, okay? And today, there's an animal in the in the jungles today, or right now, or whatever, that a lot of people capture the animals, this animal, and they take them to their home for pets. But I, on the other hand, I don't believe in that type of animal as a pet. You know what I mean? Because whenever I see this animal, you know what I mean? Mmm, makes me hungry. You know what I mean? And when I get hungry, whatever is in front of me, believe me, it's meat. And when it's meat, it goes in the cooking pan. And so, today, and it's, this animal is green, it's about this big, it's green, lives in Miami, in Florida. It's all over Florida. I know at one time, not too long ago, the Floridians, people were asking to come get these animals out of their yard because they were inundating the streets of Florida or this uh, Miami somewhere around there and uh, and I wish I could have gone to Miami at that time you know what I mean and get a couple of these animals and bring them to my house and uh, have a feast you know what I mean but I didn't you know what I mean I felt sorry for them so uh, I guess I got civilized or something like that and uh, I got modernized, you know what I mean? But I still melt. That's why we're, we're not outside doing the cooking show today because it's raining. And whenever a drop of rain falls on my head, you like my hair? You know, I, I just melt. All right, so besides that, all right, welcome again. Today we're gonna do the green iguana. Okay. A lot of people say saying green iguana. Okay. Yeah, the green iguana drink. You know what I mean? Believe me, it's a delicious drink. And uh, in the summer it's, it's a good summer drink, alright? For when you're around the pool, when you're around the sauna, or just on a hot summer day. You feel like having a nice Caribbean or drink. You make a green iguana, all right? And today we're gonna we're gonna do a green iguana drink. And what do we need to do a green iguana drink, all right? We drink. We need el coco, el crema de coco, cream of coconut. I don't know if you ever tasted the cream of coconut. You know what I mean? Right, fresh, squeeze. Uh, right off the coconut is delicious. All right, so we're gonna need cream of coconut, jugo de piña, pineapple juice. All right, we're gonna need pineapple juice in here. All right, naranja, jugo de naranja, juice, orange juice. All right, and the most important things, all right? You cannot leave that alone. Coconut rum. Jamaican rum, man. I want some Jamaican rum, okay? This is coconut rum, man, okay? I want coconut rum. We're gonna use coconut rum and uh, we're gonna put it together my way. Again, this is not your typical Hollywood cooking show. This is my typical Idaho cooking show. All right, and today we're gonna do an Idaho cooking show with 
coconut rum, man. Some coconut rum, right? What else do we need about coconut rum? The most important things. Blue curacao, man. We need some blue curacao. All right, this thing is delicious. And, uh, well, check it out. Do some good, good curacao, man. I want some Jamaican rum. Okay, so what are we, oh yes. I'm gonna put some pineapple, a chunk of pineapple in this thing too. All right, gives it a flavor, you know what I mean, so of the Caribbean. But the only thing I don't have, you know, which I should have, I should have gotten, little umbrellas, okay? I don't have little umbrellas. Whenever I make a Caribbean drink or a refreshing drink like that, I need some umbrellas in my drink because without an umbrella in my drink, I go bananas. I go bananas because I need a, I, I need an umbrella. I gotta have my umbrella, all right? What's a drink without an umbrella? And you drink, it makes you feel like you're in the tropics, laying in the sun, somewhere in the Pacific Atlantic Caribbean Ocean, drinking a pina colada or a green iguana with an umbrella in your drink. Ha ha ha. All right. So anyway, let's get started here. All right. Where was I? Oh, yes. So I was sitting in the Pacific Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, right in the sandy beaches of the Bahamas, holding my green iguana drink with my umbrella in my drink. And I was happy as ever. All right. So what do we need? Well, you know what? Uh, I'm not gonna get too personal with this. On you get a uh, you put so much of this, so much of that, so much of this, so much of that baloney. You know, what I mean that's baloney. You know, what I mean when you make a drink, you just pour it in there and you figure it out as you go along how much you put it in and how much you could handle a drink. But today, this is gonna be my glass. El glass, el cristal. The Pino, okay, the like green iguana, all right? And that's gonna be my uh, my glass. So, let's get started here. Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Oh yes, I'm, I'm gonna start with the uh, orange juice, all right? Let's get this baby open, all right? And you say, how much I put? I don't care how much you put, just put it in there, you know what I mean? So, you figure it out. How, Ah, something like that. All right. That's stuff for the orange juice. Next, we're gonna start the pineapple juice. Jugo de piña. It's not piña colada. Jugo de piña. Okay. So, ah. Let's open this up. Let's put it in there. Oops. I always made a boo boo. If I made a boo in this kitchen, I get in the doghouse. All right, so that's that. So now, yes, a little technical gl glitch in there, you know what I mean? But I got it all together, leave it to me, okay? I'm not melted yet because I'm not outside with the rain falling on top of my head, all right? Rain drops keep falling on my head. See that? Can you see that? This is uh, pineapple juice and orange juice so far, okay? We're halfway there into making our green iguana. So when you drink this, okay, you're gonna turn into an iguana, okay? A two-legged iguana. <coughs> All right? Next we're going for the coconut, the coconut cream. Yeah, oh yes, cream of coconut, all right? Let's open this shit, stuff up. I almost said a bad word, sorry. I hope I don't get in trouble. So, all right, let's open this up. Let's pour it. Looks like coconut oil, you know that? Look, oh, there you go. Coconut cream. You ever seen that uh, movie, The Three Stooges? Yeah. Alright, so we got the coconut cream in there. 
They're gonna stir it out. See how that goes. Oh yes, looking good, baby. Looking good. Now we're gonna go to the uh, rum, man. So you have that much in there uh, of the uh, coconut cream, the orange juice, and the pineapple juice. So you figure maybe the whole bottle of uh, Caribbean coconut rum. One ounce of coconut rum. I think this whole bottle is one ounce. All right, so yeah, the whole bottle is one ounce. Mmm, tastes good. Mmm, smells good. It smells like uh, it smells like uh, coconut, fresh coconut. All right, let's go. Ah, uh, let's stop right there. Wow. And you know what? I, it's so good. I got I to gotta have some of this stuff. All right. Check this out. Oh. Ah. Wow. That stuff is good. All right. Oh, yes. Then we need some uh, vodka. I'm going to edit this anyway. Oh yes, I forgot to tell you one thing. You need one more thing. A vodka, Russian vodka. All right, and to me, this is Russian vodka. I don't care what brand it is, it's Russian. Only Russian make good vodka. The Russian make good vodka, believe me. I have a lot of Russian friends. And when they invite me for dinner, you gotta drink vodka. All right, so let's put it in there. Ah, yes. Mmm, wow, smells good. Don't forget the vodka when you're doing this stuff, all right? You need vodka and coconut rum. Jamaican coconut rum, man, okay? But the most important thing, oh yes, now we're gonna do, put this aside here. We're gonna stir this a little bit. I'm gonna put some pineapple chunks, all right? So, let's open this up. You gotta have some pineapple. Pineapple chunks in there. Uh, almost cut my fingers. Just put it in there. See the chunky pineapples? You know, I just stir it a little bit. All right. Like I said, I'm sorry I don't have no umbrellas. Or maybe I have an umbrella outside in my patio. I should go bring it and put it right in here so it makes me feel like I'm in the uh, in, in the tropics. Blue curacao, baby. Don't forget the blue curacao in this stuff, okay? You gotta put it in there. And then you, have a, you gotta put half an ounce of blue curacao I guess half an ounce will be for a glass, but being this is bigger than a glass, I would say probably about the whole bottle of curacao in this thing because uh, taking into consideration the size and the amount of stuff that you have here, maybe the whole bottle will work because half an ounce it was only for one shot, one glass. So we got more than one glass in here. We got like four or five glasses in here of this uh, this green iguana. So I would say, I would say, let me see. Let me see as I go along. Uh, yeah, la, 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 la. Let's see if, it, if it's, uh... all right, it's turning, looking good. Look at that. A little bit more. Ah, baby. Yes, that's what I like. So, look at that. Green iguana, baby. Green iguana. 
Like I said, I don't have an umbrella, but I got one in the patio. Come hang it up on top of this. That makes me feel like I'm in the tropics. And then I put the ice. I put some ice in there. Fill it up with ice. And uh, stir it a little bit. Can you see the ice in there? Look at that, huh? Gorgeous. Let me see if it, uh, let me see if I have enough liquor in there. If not, I'm gonna have to uh, put more liquor in there. I right? saw. So, pardon me drinking out of, of a jug here. Okay, excuse me. See, here's to all the iguanas out there. You know, I hope they don't. I hope they're well. So let's check this out. You taste the pineapple, a little bit more rum, my man, a little bit more rum. Yeah, let's dump it in there. How much rum? I don't know. You figure it out, you know. Maybe a little bit more cream. I could, I could use a little bit more cream in there. Ah. Just dump it in there. Mix it up a little bit. Uh, you know, I don't know if you like me. You know, I mean, I, I like to drink a lot. I don't, I don't like to drink alone. You know, I like to drink a lot. And this, I don't know what's gonna happen to me when I finish drinking this. You know, I don't know if uh, I'm gonna pass out. But if I pass out. Just don't call 911 on me, okay? I'm okay. So, let's try it again. Baby, baby. This is the thing. You know, I'm taking thought, I think I'm gonna go get that umbrella outside and hang it up on top of this so it makes me feel like uh, I'm in traffic because you need an umbrella with this. You know what I mean? So, anyway. Like I was saying, thanks again for coming coming around to check out my cooking show. Again, uh, I'm sorry for we're not being outside, but the weather is not permitting. But maybe next week we're gonna have a much improved cooking a show because I'm gonna debut my new kitchen outside and my, my, my new stove, and you're gonna like it. All right, we're gonna do some steaks, and uh, we're gonna do the whole thing, the whole show we're gonna do outside next week weather permitting and uh, we're gonna we're gonna make another run maybe uh, a uh, Kentucky Kentucky soldier we're gonna make next week probably or Miami blue or maybe Miami vice yes better yet next week we're gonna make Miami vice okay a drink so Miami vice drink and uh, some couple of steaks and we're gonna roast some uh, some corn and uh, believe me, you're going to love it. So stay tuned for next week, all right? Thank you again. And uh, arrivederci, baby. Who loves you? Hasta la vista, baby. Adios. So anyway, let's get started here. So.